The Woman at the Well When Jesus knew that the Pharisees had heard that his disciples were baptizing more people than John, he left Judea and headed to Galilee. On his way there, he passed through Samaria, stopping to rest at Jacob's well near the city of Sychar. It was about the sixth hour, twelve noon, and Jesus sat at the well while his disciples went into the city to buy food. When a woman of Samaria came to draw water, Jesus said, May I have a drink? The Jews hated the Samaritans and had no dealings with them. So the woman said, How is it that you, a Jew, ask water of me, a Samaritan woman? Jesus said, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks for water, you would have asked of him, and he would give you living water. The woman said, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with. And the well is deep. So how can you have living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks of this water shall get thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. For the water I give shall become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. So the woman said, Sir, Give me some of this water, so I won't thirst. Neither will I have to come all the way here to draw water. Jesus said, Go, call your husband to come here. She said, I have no husband. You are right when you say you have no husband, Jesus said, for you have had five husbands, and the one you are with now is not your husband. The woman said, Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, but you Jews say that Jerusalem is the correct place to worship. Jesus answered her by saying, The hour is coming when true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such does the Father seek to be his worshipers. God is a spirit, and men must worship him in spirit and in truth, and not in any special place such as Jerusalem or this mountain. The Samaritan woman said, I know that the Messiah is coming, the Christ, and when he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said, I am he. At this time, his disciples returned and marveled that he was speaking to a woman, yet none dared ask him why. So the woman left her water pot and ran into the city and said to the people, Come see a man who told me everything I did. Can this be the Christ? They left the city and came to him. Meanwhile, the disciples said, Teacher, here is food. Eat. Jesus said, I have meat to eat you don't know about. The disciples asked each other, Who brought him something to eat? Jesus said, My meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Do not say in four months we will have a harvest. Lift up your eyes and look at the fields. They are already ripe. He who reaps will receive wages and gathers fruit toward eternal life. That he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. I send you to reap what others have sown. You will join them in their labor. Many of the Samaritans from that city believed on him because of the testimony of the woman. They asked him to stay, and he did so for two days. Then many more believed because of his word, and they told the woman, Now we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that he is indeed the Savior of the world. The Boy Healed at Capernaum Jesus came to Cana of Galilee, where he had changed the water into grape juice. Hearing that Jesus was back in the region of Galilee, a nobleman whose son was sick came and begged him to go to Capernaum to heal the boy, for he was almost dead. Jesus said, Unless you see signs and wonders, you won't believe. The nobleman said, Sir, please, come before my child dies. Jesus said, Go on home. Your son lives. Believing what Jesus told him, the man headed back. As he was going down to his home, his servants met him and said that his son lived. The nobleman said, When did he begin to get well? 
The servants answered, Yesterday, at the seventh hour, or 1 p.m., it was then the fever left him. The father knew that this was the exact time when Jesus had said his son lived. The nobleman and all his household believed in Jesus. Jesus preaches the coming of the kingdom. John the Baptist rebuked Herod for all the evil things he had done, and also because he had married his brother's wife, Herodias. Herod then put John in prison. When Jesus heard this, he left the town of Nazareth to live in Capernaum, which is by the Sea of Galilee, in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali. This was so that it might be fulfilled which Isaiah said, The land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, towards the sea beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people that sat in darkness saw a great light. To them that sat in the shadow of death, to them did light spring up. From then on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. People began to notice him. He taught in the synagogues, being glorified by all. Rejected at Nazareth Jesus returned to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and entered the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as was his custom. He stood up to read. They handed him the book of Isaiah, and he read the scripture that said, the Spirit of the Lord Jehovah is upon me, because he anointed me to proclaim release to the captives and sight to the blind, to set free the bruised and to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. He closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. As everyone looked at him, he said, Today this scripture has been fulfilled as you listened. The people wondered at his words and thought, How can this be true? He is just the son of Joseph, whom we all know. So Jesus said, You want me to do miracles here, as I have done in Capernaum? You might say this parable, Physician, heal yourself. But no prophet is accepted in his own country. Even Elijah was sent to a widow in Sidon during the famine, even though there were many widows in Israel. And there were many lepers in Israel in the time of Elisha, but none of them were cleansed, only Naaman the Syrian. The Jews of Nazareth were so angered by his words that they threw him out of the city. Then they took him up to the top of a high hill to throw him off the cliff. But he walked through the mob and went his way.